Hey there, stampers and crafters, and welcome to our wicked cool online class today. Today we're going to be making a super cool Halloween set. This is going to be uh, wicked. We're going to be turning a snow globe into a crystal ball, and uh, it's going to be wicked awesome. And I am from New England, so to me, wicked means incredible, <laughs> amazing, um, and, and you know, Wicked is one of those words, it's actually called a, a contronym, a contronym where it has two meanings that are the exact opposite of each other, which is kind of funny, right? So these are the projects that we're going to be making today. I'm going to be making this really cool crystal ball card, and then we're going to be making this super cool matching uh, treat box, coffin treat box for Halloween. And this is part of my uh, Halloween Stampin' Demonstrator Group's Halloween blog hop. So what that means is after this online class, you're going to want to pop on over to my blog at stampwithtammy.com or click on the resource page in this video's description and that will bring you directly to it. And you're going to want to take the hop because not only do we have this class, there is some amazing Halloween projects from my Stampin' Demonstrator Group and they've been working on this for a while and they are so talented. You're not going to want to miss that. What it also means is we have two different types of giveaways today. The first, they're both free. The first one is the blog hop giveaway. That's the after live. We're going to draw the winner on the next blog hop next month. That means there is a winner from last month listed on my blog hop page. And if you leave a comment on my blog hop with the hashtag stamp it contest, all one word, you will be entered into the drawing and you can enter multiple times simply by leaving that same hashtag comment on every blog in the hop. One entry per person per blog. So that's the first giveaway. And the second giveaway is this cauldron bubble uh, bundle. This is from last year's Halloween. Um, this is uh, very hard to get. I know um, this one people have really been struggling to get. So this is really cool because all you have to do if you're watching live right now is leave a comment on this video. So it's a different entry to enter the live. If you leave a comment on this video, you will be entered to win and uh, I will draw the winner following the video. Um, and I'm just gonna note, you might have a little bit of extra time after the live, so if you weren't up this early, if you're on a different time zone and you're watching this a little later, I will might be drawing the, um, the winner later on tonight because I may be leaving immediately after this video. So my apologies, um, but actually it's good for you guys because some of you are gonna get a chance to win this live prize drawing. Uh, where you might have missed out on that before, so that's exciting. All right, so, uh, this is what the stamps and the, and the dies that we're going to be using today. It's the Wonderfully Wicked bundle and the uh, Still Scenes bundles from Stampin' Up. They're brand new in the holiday catalog that came out earlier this month. Uh, Still Scenes is actually maybe technically a Christmas set. This is a snow globe that we're turning into a crystal ball today, but it's super cool. And it I, I just like to show the versatility because it doesn't just need to be for the Christmas. Plus the snow globe is fantastic. There's so many things you could put in that way beyond the holiday season. And <laughs> because I know a lot of you, when you hear the word wicked, especially if you're not from New England, um, you think you think evil or you think something, you know, something wicked this way comes. Um, but it also means awesome, incredible. <laughs> so uh, that is what it is today. It, these are going to be wicked cool, wicked good. And our card is have a wicked good time. So, so we're going to have some fun with that. Let's get started with the stamping. I'd like to welcome everybody aboard. I see a ton of you jumping on and that's really exciting. We are recording this live on Facebook. This class is re being recorded live on Facebook. And then um, the replay will be uploaded to YouTube. It will always be on both channels following. So you may be watching this later. And um, if you are new to my channel, be sure to uh, hit that subscribe button. Welcome aboard. I hope you like what you see. With all of my online classes, I have a free PDF tutorial for you. This has all the measurements for everything that we're going to be using today. It's got a picture and it's got all of the supplies that I'm using here today. The only thing I missed on here uh, is rubbing alcohol because I just completely forgot to put it in there. So just a note that you might want that. <laughs> but uh, anyhow, I'll show, and I'll tell you what you need that for in a minute. And it's also got a link back here to the URL where the video that we're creating right now will always be. So it will always be there with all the resources for this project. And all you need to do to get there is click on the link in this video's description. You can download this free PDF there. You can use this later if you're not following along. If you want to make these projects later and you, you want to see the video, just click on that link or 
click the smart code if you have a smartphone brings you right back there I'd like to keep things easy for you I want you to be able to find the, the information you need on these classes quick and easy so that's what I make these for and um, I hope you like it there's also a note a place here for notes if you want to take some notes well we're going along all right so first thing we're going to do is start we're, I'm gonna be creating these together um, but we're gonna start with our crystal ball our kitty in the crystal ball so I'm going to start with some, this is a grainy apple green. And the first set we're using here is the still scenes. This is uh, this is the stamp set up close here. And these are the dies. We're just going to be using the snow globe out of the die set today. Um, and this is what it looks like. But again, think of how many things you could use that snow globe for. So versatile. So I'm going to stamp our little, so this is going to become a crystal ball, right? Doesn't that look like a crystal ball image? Who knew that a snow globe and a crystal ball were almost the same thing? <laughs> you could make a wish on a snow globe. Okay, so we're going to stamp this right on this little piece of granny apple green with some memento black ink or any black ink that you have handy. And then we're going to go ahead and punch out our kitty with cat punch. And that is just a little scrap of basic black there. And we are going to attach that kitty right to our globe, right about there. So I'm going to use some snail adhesive. If somebody is asking where I am located, we are uh, filming from Massachusetts. Wicked awesome, right? You probably hear me say wicked a lot. I probably say it and I don't even know it because that's just like a New England thing. <laughs> so obviously when I saw the wicked dies, and I, I put a lot of snail on the back of that cat. Um, I don't normally put quite so much snail, but I don't want any little edges to pop up here because um, when we actually make the snow globe part, if there's any pieces of the kitty that pop up, the, the sequins will stick to it, which is fine. It doesn't bother anything. It doesn't hurt anything. But... All right, so we've got our cat stuck on there. And next we are going to do our shimmer mist. So I'm using the Stampin' Spritzer here. And what I've done, and this is where I said we need alcohol, and I forgot to put that on the list, and I'm so sorry. But just make a note in your little notes there that you want some rubbing alcohol. Um, I'm using a high percentage here, but you could probably go down to 75%. It's just, a, it, may, it dries quicker. Okay. You know, Sue, it is so funny. Sue says, are you going to the big E? Do you want to know what's funny about that? The reason why I'm going to be drawing... Uh, the live prize drawing later is because I'm going to the Big E today. <laughs> I am going to the Big E. As a matter of fact, immediately following this video, I'm going. <laughs> That's funny. So uh, here's the stamp and spritzer. The Big E is a big uh, county, a big country fair out uh, in Western Massachusetts. If any of you are from another country or, or don't know what that is, um, it's big in Massachusetts at the end of September. Um, so I've got a stamp and spritzer. I've put, I've actually already put some rubbing alcohol in here. I just kind of poured it in there. And then I've got our, this is our champagne shimmer mist and I'm going to put, and I am so random with this. I know some people like measure this out with an eyedropper, but not me. I'll just take it. We're just going to literally put maybe a drop or two in there. Boop. Now, if you put too much, it's going to be extra sparkly. So doesn't hurt anything. And then we're going to put our lid on and shake it up. Woo! All right. Sorry, I got these little these little stickers, stickies everywhere. Shake it up. Did you guys hear Rick Ocasek when the cars died? That was very sad this week. I'm sorry to hear that. Another Boston-based band. <laughs> this is not technically a Boston-based class, but I guess it is today because <laughs> it's wicked goal, right? So I'm shaking that up. This is a this little mixture, by the way, that I'm doing with the shimmer mist and the rubbing alcohol. You're going to want to do this with all of your holiday cards, not just. A, I mean, I'm doing this for um, a sparkly Halloween card, but when you I'm spritzing, but when you do your Christmas cards, you are totally going to want to do this on all of them. Now this is a little wet. It's going to take a minute to dry, but can you see all the sparklies on there? I don't know if the video is picking that up, but I'm going to put it aside for a minute. This rubbing alcohol pretty, dries pretty quickly, but we don't need that part yet. I just wanted to do it early so it had a minute to dry. And next up, we are going to um, do our big shot work. So our, we're going to do our die cuts, and I'm going to start with uh, the Wicked dies. 
right here. So Wicked comes from the Wonderfully Wicked uh, bundle. Again, this is in the holiday catalog and it's got this Wicked, it reminds me of the um, the play Wicked, right? The Broadway play Wicked. It's, it's just so cool. And then there's a little spider, which I almost incorporated that little spider into the um, project. So that's where I'm using that. That's where that came from. And then through the magic of video, I have pre-cut almost everything. We are going to do one more cut in just a second. And let me just back you out so you can see all of the writing on there. Okay. So I've cut the word wicked and I am using shimmery white today. It may not, the, the camera may not pick up the shimmery white paper cardstock um, as much as it picks up the shimmer that we just sprayed, but it is already shimmery without spraying it and it, it adds just a little punch to our project. So I've um, cut that Wicked out of shimmery white three times and out of basic black once. And then from the still scenes uh, dies, the snow globe dies, I cut, I'm not calling it a snow globe today, we're calling this a crystal ball. I cut the base of our crystal ball. Um, this was cut out of gorgeous grape and this decorative piece was actually cut out of some black foil. And get this black foil in my online store and I apologize if you can hear that sawing in the background I have some construction going on upstairs I got all kinds of stuff happening here today oh, I'll bring you right into the middle of my world <laughs> all right so these are our pre I just pre-cut those um, just to, to move it along so you guys can see we're gonna use these in just a second but I have one, uh, actually two more things we want to do with that die cut machine before we um, start using that and the first is the top layer of the card, and this is shimmer white. I'll hold it, I hope you can see it. We want to cut the uh, the globe, the crystal ball, out. So it's this piece right here. So what I'm gonna do is take, I'm just gonna take this piece for now. This is just to line up where we want it. And then we're gonna use our die cut machine, whichever one you have handy. I'm using the big shot and I have um, a platform there and a cutting pad and then and that saw sounds like it's dying doesn't it <laughs> uh, uh, I'm fixing my front door right now <laughs> sorry this one. it's a little sticky I didn't mean for that to stick on there yet okay so what I'm doing is I'm using the base just to line that up I'm gonna put it exactly where I want it and then I'm going to take a little sticky note to hold it there. If you have a magnetic platform, you can use that too. And that's just going to hold it in place right where we want it. Put one cutting pad on top and then we're going to cut that out of the middle of the card because we are making a shaker card today. And I have forgotten a piece. Sorry. I'm so used to using that magnetic plate. I forgot we need the thin die adapter before we run that through. <laughs> Sometimes you just get, you know, spoiled and then you're out of practice. All right, you know what? I, I feel like that's not quite centered. Do you feel that way too? Is that bugging you a little bit? Okay, I, I know this is... Nobody's asked for this, but I know that somebody's going to in a minute. I'll back you out just a hair so you can see the big shot. And we have the lovely background saw music going on there. Sounds like a saw in pain, actually. Okay, I just moved that a little bit more to the center. Then we'll put the cutting pad on top. So that now we should have better luck cutting it. And then when we're done, that has cut out the center piece where our shaker card is going to be. And we lined it up, pre-lined it up so it'll be all ready to go when we're ready for it. Okay, I'm not going to put this away just yet. There's one more piece that I'm going to do, and that is for the coffin. I'm going to move that thin die adapter out and one of these cutting pads because I'm going to be doing um, a little bit of embossing with the subtle folder and the top of this coffin. The subtle folder just adds this texture to cardstock or, or whatever, but in our case it happens to be the top of these little coffin boxes. You can buy these coffin treat boxes in my online store. Super cute and they're so easy to put together. You're going to see how easy it is to put together in just a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and slide that right inside the subtle folder. We just need one cutting pad because this is a 3D, um, what's known as a dynamic folder. And crank that back through. <laughs> That's funny, Tina says the sound of the saw sounds like whales. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm going to tell him that when I'm done. 
<laughs> All right, so this is the top of our coffin. It's already pre-cut and pre-scored for us. It comes that way. So I'm just gonna bend, I'm gonna fold those in so you can see the shape of the coffin there. We're actually gonna, we're gonna work on this in a minute, but I just wanted you to see that little texture put, this is the lid to the coffin. Okay, so we're all done with our big shot work. So we'll just move that right out of the way. And um, since I have this lid to the coffin out, I'm gonna do one more thing here ahead of time and because it takes a, a, an extra minute to dry. Just, I'm gonna take the, this is Whisper White Craft Ink. This is a, a thick pigment ink because regular classic white wouldn't show up um, if you were to do that on a dark cardstock. So I've got this Whisper White Craft Ink and I'm just gonna rub this literally ink to paper or ink to coffin top as this is directly on top to give it that cool spooky look. So that is gonna take an extra, I mean, it doesn't take long. It wouldn't take more than a minute, but I just wanna put that aside to dry while we're working on the rest of our card. And next up, uh, we are gonna do some sponging. So I'm gonna take, and I'm actually gonna do two of these. You can do them together if you'd like. So you're gonna take two of these, um, Shimmer White Wicked's. Sorry, I, I pre-attached these so they wouldn't get lost on my table while I was doing the video. And we'll bring that scrap paper right back in here. So I've got Gorgeous Grape and Granny Apple Green. I love these colors for Halloween. They're just fun colors and they're different than the traditional. I mean, I like traditional too, but they're just fun. So I've got a uh, Sponge Dauber and we're all gonna be lefties today. <laughs> this is the time when I use these sponge daubers when I make everybody viewing a lefty. <laughs> and a mental note, if you are right-handed, you probably wanna use your right hand. Just in case somebody asks. <laughs> they work on both hands. <laughs> all right, and then, um, so what I did, I don't know if you just noticed what I did, I just sponged the top of that Wicked. So then I'm gonna, and like this is the Shimmer White, a cardstock that I've used again underneath here. So when it's done, it will be shimmery. And if you wanted to, you could spritz it with that shimmer mist that we used on the cat. So we got a little gorgeous grape for the bottom. Nice and vibrant. And then I'm going back with the green over the line of demarcation there just to blend it. I just put my green in purple. Didn't mean to do that. One way to blend, I guess. Okay. And when we're done, actually, let me hold this up on some white so you can really see it, right? So cool. It's wicked cool, right? But um bump. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do that twice. We're gonna do that on two of them, exactly the same. And then we're gonna attach. So I'm gonna take this and attach it to the black wicked, and then I'm gonna attach one to the white wicked. Now, when you attach these you may use whichever um, adhesive of your choice. I am going to be using snail adhesive today because that's my go-to. And I'm just going to put snail, you could use mini glue dots, you could use liquid glue. If you have the fine tip liquid glue pen, you could use that. Whatever you love the most. Because that's what it's about in the end, right? Okay, so I call these panty lines. When you do use snail, you do get this. You get a little poke through here, a show through here that you want to poke out. So um, there's just a couple little pieces where you can see the adhesive there because I was maybe a little sloppy with it. So I'm just taking the take your, the pointy end of the take your pick tool, poke any of that out, and then bang oh, it's gone. So then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this on the light background because it's easier for me to see the dark on the light so I can line this up exactly how I want it. And I'm making that black wicked a shadow. And then I'm going to do that exact same thing with the white, do a white background behind the second one and through the magic of video, boom, <laughs> there it is. All right. So one for the card and one for the coffin. So next up, we are going to um, do a little heat embossing on our card because, and you don't have to heat emboss this. 
See the words? I put have a wicked good time here. You wouldn't have to heat emboss that, but I thought it looked really cool. So you could do, you could just use black on that if you wanted to. So the first thing you want to do when we're heat embossing is take your emboss buddy. This is the a little thing that makes such a difference, and it's the, what I call the if you forget this step, you will regret it. So I'm just rubbing it on the background. That's going to keep the static down, and especially where we're doing black on white. Um, you definitely don't want the extra pieces to stick to the white. So I'm going to take one of these wickets just to use to line up. I'm not going to permanently stick it yet. I'm not going to permanently stick the wicked. So I'm going to take the Hava, and that's going to go in the upper left-hand corner. It is a wicked cool one, right? <laughs> I thought so too. Oh, sorry. I can't get enough of that. And then good time because this is a wicked good time. We're, we're going with the, um, using wicked for an awesome extender for evil. See, there's good and bad in everyone. There's good and bad in the word wicked. It's all in how you use it. All right, so I, we stamped in Versamark ink, which is a little tacky. It's gonna stay tacky a little bit longer than your regular ink. We're gonna go ahead and take that. This is the scrap paper I was using earlier, grid paper for the Stamparatus. And <laughs> Bridget says she always forgets that embossed buddy step. And then she regrets it, yep. And it's such a little thing. It's a little thing that you don't usually think about. So this is black heat embossed powder. Pouring it right over the top, don't, don't be afraid. So, oh my God, I've got a little, little bit here. I think I'll take a little brush and knock that off. Okay. So we did okay. And just going to pour excess back into the jar. And then we're going to take our heat tool and we're going to heat that up. And this is shimmery white cardstock that I'm using here to give it a little extra shimmer. There we go. That was a quick and easy one. And let me just hold it up so you can see how it's just so, so cool. It's popped up a little bit, puffed up for the embossing. And that just makes it so cool. Okay, so now, after that, it's time for assembly. By now, the, our kitty, actually, he's still a little tacky here, but we're going to go with it anyways. Uh, our kitty probably should be dry by now. I think I oversprayed him. There's no such thing as overspraying with shimmer mist, right? We're just going to go for it anyways. Okay, so we've got our shimmery kitty. He's going down below. I'm going to take some of these. This is a metallic sequence. So just put as many or as little as you'd like on there. Put it right in the middle of the cat. Right in there. Okay. All right. So next up we have, these are the coolest things. These just came out in the Stampin' Up! Uh, mini catalog. They go with that Still Scenes bundle um, in the suite. And they are, well, they're technically called snow globe domes. But today I'm going to say it is a crystal ball dome. So before I put this on, it's going to be staticky. Um, so I, I am going to take that embossing buddy that we just used. I noticed this when I did my first one that the, the sequence just jumped right onto it. So I'm going to take that embossing buddy and we use for embossing and, and rub that on there. If it leaves any type of a film, which actually that one didn't leave a big one. You can just wipe it down, but actually that one's pretty good. And then these are self-adhesive. Oh, great. So these are wicked cool. I couldn't wait to play with these when they came out. It was one of those things when they first showed it to us, every the, as, like everybody's jaw just dropped. We're like, stop it. Okay, so now I'm going to attach that right over where we stamped our dome. 
our, our um, globe top there. So everybody's lined up and we've got our little shaker. Everybody's good to go. Awesome. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and put some adhesive on the back of this card. I'm just using snail. And I'm going to go around this little thing there because that's going to attach to the dome. And then, oops, stay on there. Don't go away. <laughs> and and through the magic of uh, video, I've pre-attached the, um, the inside panel in our gorgeous grape panel. And then we're going to go ahead and attach this right over the top of our card. And then you would do the exact same thing if you were making a snow globe Christmas card. That's how you would. Yeah, oh, Tina, that would have been a good idea. She says use the heat tool to dry the cat. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. We'll put him in there wet. Wet kitty. All right. So we want to attach our two pieces of the base together. This was cut with a, the black foil and this was cut with gorgeous grape. I'm just using snail again. My little hack, my little snail hack. And if there's any show through, poke it out before you put it on there. Yeah, that's good. Then we got our base. Just a is it, so now we've got an ornate snow globe base. And then we are going to, I'm going to use dimensionals to attach this with the globe because the globe's already popped up a little bit, right? So it's already a 3D card. So whenever I do 3D cards or anything with, with a little bit of pop and puff, by the way, these are black dimensionals that I'm using here. These are brand new, so cool. Um, whenever I do anything 3D, it never fails that somebody always asks, um, do we have, um, how do you mail it? How do you mail it? So, um, I always, I always recommend like a, a bubble wrap, especially for something like this. Not everything needs to go in the mail. Sometimes you hand deliver stuff or it goes with a package. Um, but the last time I did a really big uh, puffy card, um, I threw it out there and we got so many great ideas for mailing um, puffy 3D projects beyond just the, the bubble wrap. So there was a lot of good, good ideas. There's a lot of different ways you can do that. Yep, the wood grain would look wicked cool. Wicked cool, get it? Wicked cool on the base of that too. So now I'm taking snail adhesive again to attach this. Thanks for the hearts, you guys are awesome. <laughs> Love you guys. I'll give you my heart right back. It's only once a, once a month that I'm on Saturday mornings. Um, usually it's Friday afternoon. So this is a fun one when we do the blog hop. Um, and this actually is my, my last one before I go on vacation. And this is my birthday week. I am headed off uh, to the Outer Banks with a friend. And I'm very excited about it. So uh, I will not have any videos this upcoming week. But I might have something really special um, happening on my blog. And I'm just saying that because you don't want to miss it. Just saying. Just saying. Stay tuned to stampwithtammy.com for more information. All right. So. Um, I'm just going to put that aside for one minute. We're going to go ahead and assemble our coffin. So we, um, we left this one, our, our lid here drawing. I'm going to stamp the word good. Now the word good, um, I found in the Stampin' Up! stamp set says, believe you can. And, um, it actually is part of the word good luck. And so here's, a, I'm going to show you a little hack for how to get just the word good out of that. So, because I wanted to say wicked good, not wicked good luck. Oh, you could say wicked good luck. Oops, we don't want person mark. We want white. All right. So, we've got some whisper white here. I'm going to take toasty note. I'm going to cover up the luck. I mean, we still want you to have good luck. But but, but in this particular case, we, we want the word to say wicked good. Okay, so I'm going to ink it up and then remove that. So, now only the word good is inked. Now I'm going to put that towards the bottom edge, but remember we're going to fold in the bottom like that there. So remember to have that lined up on the edge of the, the score line there. 
So we've got our goods. So let's go ahead and assemble. Assembly of this coffin. <laughs> so easy. <laughs> it's not even funny. All right, so. <laughs> Robbie says, when you are just saying, it's usually something good. Oh, it's something good. Definitely something good. It's wicked good. That's all I'm going to say. Wicked good things are coming on my blog while I'm on vacation. Not to mention, I'm always posting on my blog, even when I'm away. There is uh, inspiration on Facebook, on my blog, um, all the time. So I just took two mini glue dots, and there's two tabs right there, and I stuck the mini glue dots to the tabs, and literally that is all there is to assembly. There's tabs here, and you just put uh, either tear tape or mini glue dots on those tabs. That one didn't stick either. I got two of them there. And that literally just pops together. So easy. You could make a ton of these if you were making them for a party, for friends, for coworkers. It would be wicked easy. Wicked easy. See, there it goes. Told you. I say that and I don't even realize it. It's such It's inbred in me. So that is the base of the treat box. It's a good size, too. You could put some good treats in that. And then the top goes together the same way. Once we've put the uh, subtle embossing folder on it, you want to burnish those um, score lines really good because sometimes they're harder to see once the subtle's textured on it. And you want that white to be good and dry. It should be good and dry by now. We should be okay. And if you are popping in late and missed how we did this, you're going to want to back up and when we're done, rewind and check it out because it was cool. So there's two little tabs right here. The tabs always go on the underneath part. So if you're assembling this and you, you, you're looking at it and you didn't have this video handy, just remember the tabs always go underneath. Or you can just go back and watch this video if you're doing this later. Our coffin is done. Oh, that one didn't have a, sorry, false alarm. <laughs> that one didn't stick. There we go. Now it's done. Oh, lots of hearts. Thank you guys. You're awesome. Okay. So that just attaches to the top of our treat box. Like so. There we go. Nice and tight too. That one's not going to come off. And then we're going to take this the wicked that we did with the white back the white shadow background we did one with black and one with white and we're going to attach that to the top of this and the white's really going to make it pop the white shadow on the back of this so i just again some snail pop out any panty lines that are showing and put that at a little bit of an angle there like so and we are almost done here, almost done, but one more thing because what's a project, oh, thanks for the hearts, you guys love you back, what's a project without a little bling, right? I mean, not that we didn't have bling on the inside of the shaker card and we got, we spritzed everything and made it sparkly, you could spritz your coffin and make it sparkly, but we've got the glittery enamel dots here, let's use them, let's have some fun with them. So I'm just using a take your pick tool to put these on here, but I took one of these uh, granny apple greens and to put it at the dot of the wicked for a little pow. Oops. That one little guy on here does not want to behave. There we go. So see that we got a little, little wicked dot there. And then I took some of these uh, gorgeous grapes and you could put them on both if you wanted to, but I just put a couple around the coffin top. Just for a little fun there. Maybe we'll do one more. Man, those guys are stuck on there good. There we go. Now it's complete. <laughs> oh. There we 
we go. So we've got our shaker card. We've got our treat, our treat box. Wicked awesome. Wicked good. Wicked fun class today. And um, don't forget to pop on over to my uh, stampwithtammy.com blog or click on the resources page and uh, take the blog hop tour and enter to win our uh, blog hop giveaway. All right. Well, thank you for joining me today.